Greetings and salutations, guys. Hayden here. Welcome to part one of our uh, early Black Friday sale this Thursday, November 22. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Let's see who's in here. Uh, oh, hi, Boots. There's Boots. There's Liz. There's Shiloh. Hi, guys. Lady Badger, Tanya, Angela. There's Linda. Hi, Pauline. Oh, goodness gracious, we're back again. We have two sales today, actually, so I'm really, really excited. Um, like I told you guys before, V is joining me tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific time. So uh, today, or right now, I think this sale is going to be about like an hour, maybe two hours. We'll play it by ear. Mom's currently making, uh, I think she's, no, she's making egg rolls right now in the kitchen. And then afterwards, we're supposed to go to the grocery store. So we'll end whatever time she's ready to leave because <laughs> I got to go to the grocery store over there and help her um, get last minute things for Thanksgiving. And then we'll be back again at eight o'clock tonight. But hi, Bex. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, guys. And V is going to have some really great stuff tonight, too. She has, uh, she was just telling me all the stuff that she got. She has some pretty good bags. Uh-huh. She's got, I think she said she's has, uh, she has Dooney and Burke and I think some Coach and I think most or all of them are vintage. I know you guys love vintage Coach and Dooney. And she has a ton of, um, like, athleisure stuff. Lululemon. I told her to bring out, like, the larger sizes, too. Like, 10, 12, 14 and stuff. Because I know that's what you guys were asking for also. And then she has shoes. Oh, she has some amazing Gucci sneakers. You guys, and I think she said she's only going to price them at $300. they are in, like, new condition. And I think they're sizing... One of them is a size eight eight and a half and the other one's like a nine or a ten or something like that so they're really really good they're in great shape and i know you guys are really gonna like those and yeah so there's gonna be a ton of stuff later on too and i'm pretty excited happy thanksgiving rachel oh also i am gonna go live during thanksgiving for a little bit um for anyone that's like i know a lot of people may not be going um to see their families on thanksgiving or just like kind of spending it at home and I thought I would just pop on and say hi to you guys and uh, introduce you guys to some of the family. So I think that would be pretty fun. It, it won't be for too long. So if anyone would like to, uh, I think I'm going to do it at like at 5 p.m. Pacific time, something like that. I have my Diet Pepsi right here, too, because I am already thirsty. Hi, Deborah. Okay, well, um, what did I have for the giveaway today? Uh, let's do... I don't even know what I have anymore. Oh, hi, thank you, Diana. Oh, if you see, if someone could help you think of a question too, um, you can leave that. Also, if anyone would like to donate anything to our dear Edie, this is her PayPal right here. I'm leaving this up for like the rest of the year until we're able to um, get enough money for Edie for her operation that she needs. So if anyone would like to donate anything, it's gonna be right here. We're also still gonna have that like benefit sale for her also. So if anyone would like to join me, you can come live and sell any items that you may have and you can give whatever percentage of the proceeds uh, to Edie. And yeah, so just email me about that. I'm trying to coordinate everything um, so that way we can do that. And yeah. Hi, Patia, Lady J. Bex, I know, happy free Thanksgiving. My mom and I have already been eating some of the things that she's been making. Ooh, favorite side dish. Perfect. Yeah, so if anyone would like to join, um, Linda, I did see your message. I'm sorry I didn't get a reply to you. So yes, definitely. Um, we And also, if you can't do it during... Um, the actual like live for ed we can figure something out you can just come on whenever like i don't care you can come on at the beginning or end or just during any of the lives that i have scheduled and uh, i would love to help you sell some of your items hi lady j okay um so thank you lady j for your question the link for the giveaway is going to be right here in the live chat. Oh, hold on. Whoopsies. Where'd it go? I lost the link.
There we go. Okay, so there it is, right there. And I think I'll give away the last of these guys. So I have one more of these. This is the um, these are the Sanrio little pill boxes. This is actually the same exact one that I have. So we'd be twins. So this is today's giveaway. Leave your answer in the comments right there. And, or in the comments of that video. And then at the end of today's live, we're going to be announcing our winner. <laughs> Shiloh. <laughs> we just appreciate you for being here, Shiloh. Thank you so much. Yeah, you don't need to buy anything. You, no one ever has to feel any pressure about buying anything here. It's just, as long as you're having fun, I'm happy. Okay. What was I? Oh, I thought I was going to say something else, but I totally forgot. It's like way too early. Like the boys were running amok earlier and I got, oh, I got Zachary this thing from the Goodwill. It's like a Harry Potter wand game. And I gave it to them this morning and I shouldn't have given it, given it to them before uh, breakfast because they like did not want to stop playing and fiddling with it. And it was kind of like a struggle to get them to eat because they just wanted to play the whole time. And yeah, so they really, really liked it. So I was pretty excited. I didn't think they were going to like it that much, especially Elizo. But yeah, Zachary is really into Harry Potter and he is just Harry Pottering it up upstairs. Oh, Edie, I'm sorry to hear that. Hi, J Sweet. Oh no, Linda, I think we're just gonna go to Albertsons, so hopefully it's not so crazy. Like our local Albertsons usually isn't like too packed, so. Okay, let's get started. Um, I have a good amount of goodies. <laughs> Shiloh. Okay, what do I have? Let's start off with, oh, let's start off with this, okay. This is gonna be item number one. And this is what do you mean? Oh, I don't know. You can just set it like send that reminder or whatever. It's fine. Okay, sorry guys, Vader was asking me a question. Yeah, Costco's probably super crazy right now. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Our first item is going to be this Patricia Nash wallet. This one is brand new. So it has the tags and still has some of the packaging on there, too. Uh, the retail for this guy is $109. It's a beautiful black leather wallet. It smells amazing. It has that fresh new leather scent. We just had the Patricia Nash logo embossed right there and then right there on the back as well. And then the interior looks like this. There's a clear ID slot, lots of cards, cards, and there also is a bonus little pouch right here that comes out. So it's kind of like two wallets in one. This also has a ton of card slots inside. It has the embossing as well. And it has like a little magnetic closure up at the top. And then when you put this in here, the magnet also works on there too. So it's really, really cute. It's a brand new wallet. Lots of card slots, compartments, and a great stocking stuffer or gift for the holidays. And this is going to be item number one. Our black Patricia Nash wallet. Brand new with tags. And this is how much we doing? Hmm? And this one is $65. It's going to be item number one. Oopsies. Oh, no. Okay. Up next, we have... Oh man, I keep messing up my notes. Did 
There we go. And number two. All right. Now, let's go on to our next item. Oh, I have these um, really great flats. They're uh, Tory Burch flats. They're kind of small, though. They're a size five and a half. I don't know if anyone's a five and a half out there. But they are the cutest suede Tory Burch flats. They have the little Tory Burch metal logos on the sides. And they're in this really pretty, like, tan color. Um, they do have some, like, slight discoloration. And there is this one mark that's right there. I have my eraser. I wanted to see if I can get it out. Is it coming out with my eraser? Oh, wait, it's coming. It's getting lighter. You know what else you can use, too, for suede? Is you can use, like, um, a, like a light gray sandpaper. Something, like, not too, like, harsh. Even if you just use, like, a nail file, like, use on your nails. Um, that will also help significantly. Like, that, just the eraser helped a lot. Right, it's almost gone. I think if I just go at it a little bit more. But just know that there are like a couple little marks on here, but nothing crazy. The bottoms don't have too much wear on them. Uh, then again, these are size five and a half. And they're in pretty good shape though. Like they're really, really pretty shoes. Great, like for every day or even for like an event, you can wear these if you want to be like comfy. So these are our tan suede Tory Burch flats with gold hardware size 5.5 and we're gonna do these for just what are we gonna do these Tories for um let's do tw no 25 let's just do 25 for them size five and a half guys yes our thoughts and prayers are definitely with you Edie I know this time must be so difficult for you but we're gonna we're gonna help you be able to pay the those fees, those so crazy that like that you have to go through that right now. All right, up next. Lady J. <laughs> Sob. Okay, our next item is... Oh, this Kate Spade. All right, up next, this is a beautiful gray leather Kate Spade. It has this really cool, like, zigzag quilting. And it has silver... Like, this... Not silver. Like, really light gold hardware. It looks almost silver on camera, I think. But it's a really pale gold. I know, Boots. What size are you again? Are you size 8? I think I'm going to pull a lot of shoes for later on today with the, um, with the V... Hi, Brenda. How are you? So, um, yeah, I, I need to pull out. Um, I have so many shoes. It's crazy. I want to just do like a completely like sh like just, just a shoe sale, I think, because I have so many. A size 10. Oh, Lady J. I have um, these Rothy's. They're a size 11, but I hear Rothy's run a little small, but I do have these Rothy's. They're a size 11. Okay, back to the bag. This one is in like new... Well, not actually. It's almost like new condition. There's a little mark right there. Actually, maybe my eraser can get that out. The magic of the eraser. Sometimes erasers are pretty good for cleaning things off of bags, too. Um, it's actually a pretty good way to clean stuff off of more porous leather. Because sometimes things are untreated or super porous. Uh, if you use like a cleaner or conditioner, it could discolor your leather. But if you just use the eraser, um, it'll pick up as much of the stain as you can without actually putting anything into it that's going to discolor it. And in this case, it actually worked pretty good. It's a lot lighter now. I don't even know. It's coming up very lightly on camera now. It used to be a lot darker, right? It was like almost brown. Um, so erasers, 
work really well. This one also does zip across the top. There's one zipper pocket inside of there. And there's just a very minimal discoloration at the very bottom. But it's super cute. You can wear this as a crossbody, or you can wear it, the straps doubled up, and then wear it like a shoulder bag, like that. Rachel, okay, yeah, that's what I heard about the Rothy's too, so that's good to know. I've actually tried men's Rothy's, and I, yeah, I thought that they were going to be my size, but they were too small too, so even in the men's, I think you have to size up. Kathleen, it's uh, it's just a white. This is just a, an eraser for pencils. The softer the eraser, I feel like the better it is. Uh, I wouldn't use like those kneadable erasers, but just the white. This is just from Daiso. It's like that um, the Japanese ninety nine cent store. I think everything's like a dollar fifty. I think they might have raised the prices though. But um, it's just a little clickable eraser, and the eraser just comes out. I love this because you can really get into like certain nooks and crannies with this one. So, but it's really any soft white eraser will do. Don't use anything with a color in it. Never use those pink ones. Um, but yeah, as long as it's soft, it'll be good. Um, that's a, a really good way of like cleaning suede or even like any leather in general without getting too, like, into any chemicals or anything. Okay, so this is our gray quilted zigzag gray Kate Spade um, mini crossbody bag with light gold hardware. Okay, and we're going to do this one for 55 Okay. Oh, also, if anyone would like to join our Discord group, we're going to leave that link up as well. Where is it? Uh, dun -dun -dun. All right, there we go. There's a link for the Discord if anyone would like to join in there. And our next item is going to be item number four. So I'm going to leave this guy right here. Then up next, I have... Oh, wait, no, someone got this one the other day. Oh, and this one, too. All right, up next, I have... Hi, Norma! Okay, I still have this really great Tory Burch wallet. Beautiful pink color, and it's quilted. Um, just this one side has, like, some light rubbing along the piping right there um, and then a little bit on the corners as well but the interior of the wallet is in really great shape the zipper works really well interior is nice and clean the zipper pocket is in good shape also lots of card slots this is a really nice continental wallet Tory Burch Hi, Aunt Basto, how are you? Okay, so this is our pink quilted Tory Birch um, wallet with gold hardware. And this was how much paper? Alright, and this one was 50. Hi, Deborah. Um, Vadrian, did that one go out yet? Uh, Deborah, Vadrian said it's actually going out today. I think they said they just packaged it earlier, so it'll be going out later on today. I agree, Lady J. Yes, this is Edie's PayPal email, so if you would like to send her anything at all, um, you can do it friends and family. That's 
edithgibson7 at icloud.com. And oh, congratulations, Bex. Number four is going to you. Yay. All right. Okay, up next, we got number five. You're welcome, Deborah. Okay, our next item is going to be... Dun, 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 dun. Um, hold on one second. I want a mirror. Oh, and Basto, <laughs> the decor, the, the anthropology mirror is like my favorite. Okay, so now it's still... Oh, I forgot who it was that wanted it. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Um, just wanted to check something really quick. Because I, I had an item that I thought sold and someone was asking about it. But it's still... Oh, it was Bex. Bex. Um who's actually still here. Bex, I still actually do have this. I thought it sold. So this is still available if you want it. Let me know. I'll just send you an invoice because I know you were, you uh, messaged me about it um, the other night. Okay, number five is going to be this Harvey's seatbelt wallet. And this is the special Minnie Mouse or Disney collaboration. And it's in this fun leopard print. You can see Minnie right there with the bows on. So cute. Opens up really nicely. This is a large wallet. Okay, Bex, we'll send you, um, we'll add that to your invoice. Vadrian, can you add that, please? All right, Bex, it's yours. Here's the inside card, uh, clear ID, lots of card slots, zipper change pockets, nice and clean. You can uh, fit your wallet inside of here as well. And this is going to be item number five. Our Harvey's mini, I cannot spell, Minnie Mouse leopard print wallet. And this one is going to be, Okay, we're going to do this one for 50. We'll give a little discount. I think we used to have it at like 65. So it's going to be item number five. Super fun. Okay, up next, number six. And let's do... Oh, okay. Let's do this guy right here. This is just a little brown coach satchel. It's super cute. I really like the silhouette. It kind of reminds me of the Antigone by Givenchy. And it has silver hardware. has the top handles, cross body strap. It zips across the top. There's the bottom. Um, the leather on the exterior is in pretty good shape. There's very minimal rubbing. I think this is like the most rubbing that it has, just right there in that little corner. It has a beautiful pebbled leather. Oh, oh, Bex is calling number five too. Congratulations, Bex. That's a really great wallet. Am I getting, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna get the larger one. I got the other one last year. Um, and I don't know, I know right now it's 30% off, so now is the time to get it because it's the only time those things ever go on sale. Um, but I don't know. I don't, want, I don't know if I want to have two of the same year, and I don't know if I want to get a different color. Because it, it comes in, like, a black, and my mom was like, ooh, the black is kind of nice, but I'm like, mm, I don't know if I want a black mirror. I kind of just want another gold one. So I have honestly no clue. 
But the bigger mirror would be so nice. I should have just gotten the bigger one. I don't know why I let mom talk me into these things. She was like, no, we don't need the bigger one. We need the smaller one. And I was like, no, we need the bigger one. <laughs> this happened once before when we were buying something and we got the smaller one instead of the bigger one. But at that time, we were able to switch it out. So I was totally fine. The mirror, though, like we couldn't like change our mind with it, you know? But it's okay. It's still a really... I think it still looks really good. I just think like a larger one would be perfect. I've been hoping to find just like any large mirror... Uh, at like the thrift or something but every time I find like a really large mirror it's either not what I'm looking for like the style or it's like damaged and I just don't want to buy like a cracked mirror um the interior of this though is in uh need of a good cleaning here's the interior this lining though does turn inside out and it's like that uh satin lining that cleans up really easily um and should be not too bad to clean out, honestly. Uh, the exterior is in pretty good shape, though. So this is going to be item number six. This is our coach. Um, actually, let me clean this with you. I want to show you guys. I just have... These are just um, sanitizing alcohol wipes. You can just use wipes, too. You can... Um, but I, the thing I love about these coach bags, though, is that you can turn that lining inside out. And then you can just run it under the sink. Just make sure not to get the leather wet. And then you can just like clean these up really well. So let's just clean this. Usually I'll use these first if they're like handy. Or you can use like a um, like a cleaner. I also like to use my foaming cleaner. Works pretty well. And then I'll just like kind of go at it like this with the stains. I find that um, makeup wipes sometimes work pretty well too if there's like a makeup stain inside because sometimes those makeup marks are like a little bit pesky and difficult to remove so sometimes I'll use those also and I've had success removing some like kind of more difficult stains with those um just make sure though that you get like the makeup remover wipes that don't have like any oil inside because it could stain the fabric and then you're gonna have to use like shampoo or something to get out the stain or like a dishwashing detergent but usually just like dawn soap and then a little scrubber works really well on the stains. Okay, so that's usually just what I do. Just these or take it under the sink. But I'm going to leave this one as is. So I'm not like here cleaning the bag in front of you guys forever. And... Oh, Linda! Oh, uh, not yet. Uh, but I, I don't know if you heard me earlier when I was talking about it. I did I did get your message. Um, and I'm still trying to coordinate everything. But if you guys, like, would like to just come on, like, any time, even if you, like, if you can't make it during that other live sale, um, any time would be fine. As long as I have something scheduled, you can come on that day with me and have, sell whatever you like. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Hi, Miriam. Okay, Coach Brown Satchel with Silver Hardware. Okay, we're just going to do this one for $30. If anyone's interested, this is going to be item number six. All right. This guy right there. And. This one. All right, number seven is gonna be next. Oh, Kathleen's calling six. Congratulations, Kathleen. Oh, Linda, yeah, totally. If you want, you can go on right now if you're available. Oh, Linda, 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 Linda. I have a surprise for you. This is going to be number seven for Linda. I got her right here, Linda. All right, Linda, here she is. Look at this beauty. Linda called this one already the other night, so 
We're just showing it to her right now to make sure she definitely wants it. Okay, Linda. Yeah, no problem. Anytime, Linda. Just let me know. But I'll let you know, like, the actual schedule of that live also. I'm still trying to coordinate with everyone. It's just, like, that everyone is really, like, crazy right now because of Thanksgiving. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, a good time for everyone. But here she is. There's the... Uh... But, um, the leather on this is, like, amazing. And then, so I just have some stuffing inside of it. It comes with, like, the certificates and everything right inside of here. And here's the inside. It's so beautiful, like, that gray quilting in the fabric. It's so pretty. And there's just one um, zipper pocket right there. And then here she is, just like closed up. Hi, Cindy. But yeah, the leather on this is so, so good. It's like that washed lambskin, like the washed aged lambskin. And it's black. The hardware is really pretty to it. It said there's like that ruthenium hardware. Gorgeous. I love Ruthen like the Ruthenium hardware from Coach because it always looks good. It's not going to like look like I feel like it's like timeless and it just ages really well. Hi, Ashley. Right, Ambosto? Oh, Linda. Okay. Congratulations, Linda. Sold. I'm not even going to put it up because Linda already bought it yesterday anyway, so... But congratulations, Linda. I'm so excited for you. It's such a beautiful bag. I'm just going to put the little cards back inside so I don't lose those. Okay. This one aside also. All right, congratulations, Linda. That one is a beauty. I'm super excited for you. And then our next item, hi, West Coast gal, how are you? Is gonna be, oh wait, that's number seven. Ah, no, I closed my thing. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to close it. Hi, Sherry. Oh, Monique. Mon Sherry. I wish I, was, I could speak French. I just like to pretend. All right. Number seven is our next number. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have this beautiful Dagny. Diana, yes. Diana, I think you might be... Um, lagging a little bit. But yeah, it was a, a black Chanel. It was the one that I showed you guys yesterday. Okay, our Dagny Over belt bag is our next item. This is in a black neoprene. I love that it has, like, this really nice, like, chunky little clip right here. And you can wear it around your waist. I really like it, though, as a, like, a body bag. This is great for everyday use, travel, going to the gym... A good like a, going on a hike it sits really nice on your body and it's nice and lightweight it's waterproof there's a back pocket right here and then there's a little front zipper compartment right there as well and then we have our main compartment right here and it has a little um, pocket right there and then a little thing for keys, as well as another, like, for, like, chapstick or whatever right inside of there on the side. Hi, Tosh. And this is going to be item number seven. This is our black neoprene uh, Dagony Dover belt bag with black hardware. 
and this is $70. This one is in like new condition, and this is also a new style that just uh, came out not too long ago. Okay, so that's number seven. And then number eight is another black bag. This one is a beautiful Kate Spade. I really like this new like embossing design that they're doing. This uh, also is a newer style that's come out not too long ago. And it's in this black leather. There's a large front pocket. It has light gold hardware. Um, zipper. There's one or there's one interior zipper pocket inside of there. There's the back. Little corners are good. Hi, Pinai Plant Mom. How are you? Okay, and this is going to be item number eight. A black embossed uh, Kate Spade flat crossbody bag with light gold heart. Wait, what did you see, Peter? Okay, we're going to do this one for, let's do, okay, we had this one at 80, let's see, $70. That's going to be item number seven, or number eight. What was number seven? I missed it. I messed up my numbers again. Oh, that was the Dagny Dover. How much was that one? Okay. Oh, so was the Kate. Okay. I was like, wait, what? All right, there we go. My brain is, like, not working right now. Super cute. Great little crossbody bag. It's a really good size, actually. This fits a lot. And then number nine is up next. Let's do, oh, I have another Tory Burch piece. This one is a little uh, satchel. It has silver hardware, gray pebbled leather, Top handles, cross body strap, adjustable and removable. I love the style of this one. It has like this cool kind of like, I don't even know what to call this, like a braided woven detail going around the silver hardware for the Toy Birch logo in the middle. Um, the exterior is in pretty good shape. There's just some slight rubbing on some of the corners. Yeah, it's not really too bad at all. I think this one has it the most, just in this little section right there. But it's on, like, the bottom kind of, like, folds in. So when it's, like, even if it's sitting on the table, you're not going to see the mark on there. And then the top zips. And inside, you just have a zipper pocket. And then on the other side, there's a snap button pocket and then two more pockets in the underneath. The only stains are right here. Do you see that like mark right there? And there's also like a slight discoloration up at the top by where the zipper is. And then there's like another thing like right there. Um, yeah, the other side doesn't have like really much discoloration at the top. It's really just on that one side. And yeah, beautiful bag. Great little satchel. Um, Kathleen, I do actually. I'll show some right now after this. So this is our gray Tory Burch satchel with silver hardware. Okay, we had this one at 110. Let's do 95. We're going to bring it down to under 100. That one is going to be item number nine. And then pouches. I have, this is a vintage coach pouch in black. It's in really great shape, but it does have like some indentations on the back. You see those? So there's a couple little indentations on the back. The leather isn't punctured or anything. It's kind of just like indented. Um, the front side though is in 
pretty good shape. And this is a black glove tanned leather. Uh, Laura's calling number nine. Congratulations, Laura. <laughs> Yay! I'm sorry, Lady Badger. Laura called that one right before you. But congratulations, Laura. She is going to you. All right. And then number 10. Oh, so it has a little um, coach hang tag zipper pull right there. This one is made in China, but it is still um, the vintage ones. This was like made like right. I think this was like one of the first ones they started making in China when they stopped um, US and Costa Rica. But there's a creed right there. It has the ticking stripe fabric lining, which is nice and clean. And... Oh, Tanya, thank you. They might come out in a dunk, you guys, Tanya said. I didn't know that you can get rid of, um, or you could possibly remove, like, indentations like that if you dunk them. But the inside has lining, though. That's the only thing. Okay, um, this one is number 10. Black Vintage Coach Pouch with ticking stripe lining and brass hardware. All right, and this one's how much, Raven? Uh, yeah. Let's just do this one for, we're gonna do 45 on this one. So that's number 10. All right, up next we have number 11. Uh, Tanya's calling it, congrats, Tanya. Yay! Love it. All right. L let's see. Any more pouchy pouches? Um, I still have this black uh, Stella McCartney pouch. And she doesn't use any, like, animal products. This is all, like, vegan leathers, uh, coated canvases, whatnot. And then the stars are actually in a black velvet and it has silver hardware and the pouch is in really great shape interior is nice and clean it just has like the little stella mccartney um lining there's the little uh patch right there and then the like the little white tag is all the way in the bottom but that has like all the like serial number info and stuff like that Okay, Tanya, that's perfect. We'll do that. Okay, and this is gonna be item number 11. This is our black Stella McCartney vegan leather star pouch with silver hardware. And how much is this featuring? No, it's Stella McCartney. Okay, we have this one at 125. Let's bring it down to 100 today. That's going to be item number 11. All right. Then up next, number 12. There you go. Oopsies. What time is it? 12.02. Okay, let's do, what else do I have that's hiding in here? I still have this little Kate Spade key um, card wallet. This has the little um, round key thing right here that's attached to the zipper pull. It's in a maroon smooth leather on one side and the other side is in a light pink. And then the hardware is in a light gold. And then the interior looks like that. It's nice and clean. It's in really great shape. And this is going to be item number 12. This is our Kate Spade. Uh-huh. Kate Spade maroon and pink key 
card case with light gold hardware. And let's do this one for just, let's just do like $30. That's gonna be item number 11, or number 12. So $30, and it's in really great shape. Nice and clean, no like marks really or anything. What is that? Oh, it's just a little something that got on there. Okay, that's number 12. Ooh, lucky number 13. What are we gonna do? Oh, that's fine. I already said it, yeah. And then up next, oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, I still have this Chanel. All right, I still have this Chanel tote bag. Don't mind all of the contraptions that I put on it because I was showing you guys the other night how you can make it into a like a shoulder tote or as like a crossbody. So it doesn't come with these other two straps. Um, it's just this guy right here. So it's a green reissue tote bag with silver hardware. We have the little turn lock right here for pocket. Oh, Hipati, I'm glad you like it. That was a really good belt bag. Like, if you didn't buy it, like, I was probably just going to keep it because it was a really good one. That was like, a, it's like a great everyday bag. It's nice and lightweight, and it's really cute. Um, it will come with a real, real desk bag right inside. And then the interior is just in black canvas, cotton lining. There's a zipper pocket, and then two open pockets, and then a key uh, fob ring thing right there. Just snaps up at the top, and... The leather on this is so soft. It's in a beautiful, like, aged lamb skin, silver hardware that's quilting on the pocket and then also on the handles. And if you want, I will keep, like, the attachments on here, too, so that way you can add your own longer straps. You just need, like, two matching ones. Um, I just use these as an example because these are the only ones that I had that matched, but, uh, like, at least the lengths match. So now you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can extend it and actually wear it as a crossbody. Um, and this one does have like some slight rubbing on the corners. But nothing too crazy. The color on this is really pretty though. It's like an olive green color. Um... Vadrian, did you already shot a uh, drop? I think Linda, I think your stuff went out yesterday. Did it, Vadrian? Yeah, Linda, I think it went out already. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, Linda, I'm sorry. The, the oh, we got a spam thing right here. I got it. All right, so this is our green lambskin quilted um, Chanel tote bag with silver hardware. Nah. And then this is going to be how much, Peter? Okay, this one is 1,750. Okay, and that one's number 13. But, um, yeah, Linda, Vadrian already shipped it out, but I can ship it out myself and send it to you. Because I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to see Vadrian until this weekend. Also, yeah, and none of the items that you guys are purchasing right now, I'm going to be able to ship out until next week. Unless you really want me to ship it out, just let me know. And I'll... But if you have anything that you purchased um, previously, I can't like group them together right now to ship out. If that makes sense. Okay, 14 is up next. And we have our large Rebecca Minkoff slap crossbody bag in this beautiful tan leather and it has like these gold studs all along the front 
The back is only at the top, which is perfect, so it doesn't like poke you when you're carrying the bag. There's a large back pocket right here. The straps are convertible, so you can wear it as a shoulder bag, or you can extend it and then wear it as a crossbody. This is such a good size, too. It's massive. It'll fit everything. It'll fit... Oh, you know what? What a chic iPad case. So you can definitely like, I think you could fit up to a, um, this will fit like a 13 inch MacBook Pro and smaller because the my iPad is about the size of a 13 inch MacBook Pro. It'll definitely fit in here. You can use it as a laptop bag, which is really cool. Um, I wonder if it fits in the back pocket too. Let's see. Oh! <gasps> It even fits in the back pocket. Look at that. That is cool. I didn't even try to, my well, my pencil pops up at the top, but that's cool. All right, that's great. Did not know that. <laughs> Laptop check. So it's, this one is in really good shape. Um, there's very like minimal rubbing on the exterior corner. I think this might be the most. This is in this little little corner right there. Um, the only thing is though, the store did write on here, so they, just so a Sharpie mark up at the top, but otherwise the interior is nice and clean, got a zipper pocket and then two open pockets and then a little card pocket, uh, right there too. All okay, this is 14, this is our tan quilted Rebecca Minkoff. Extra large flat bag with gold stud hardware. And this is how much featuring for this one? But isn't that so cute though? With like with the iPad, I feel like that's so cool. I don't know why I didn't think of putting an iPad inside of here. And also like the sides have like these like gussets, so they pop open. So you can really fill this guy up and like get a lot of stuff inside of there but yeah the iPad fits inside it snaps on beautifully like now you have your super chic iPad or small laptop carrying bag okay this one is $80 um oh sleety bed I'll check right now Oh, Linda, um, Badrian already shipped out your previous order already. Um, so if you want, I can ship it out already, or Chanel. Um, I can ship it out later on today. Um, how much was it? Oh, oh, Bex called it. Number 14 is going to Bex. Congrats, Bex. <laughs> Yay. It's really, really cute. All right. Um, I know, Gene. I hate it when they do that. It's so annoying. You know, like some, um, you know who else does that is, if you guys have ever been to uh, Last Chance in Arizona, they do that too to like their bags and stuff. It's really annoying. Okay, up next, we got number 15. Oh, I forgot I was to check my email. Hold on. Lady Badger sent an email. Let's see. The first. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so kind of you. Okay. Hold on, you guys. Let me, um, let me just. Okay, this is from uh, Sean, a.k.a. Lady Badger. And she says that the first person to send Edie $50 will receive one of these new with tags and free, shipped free to their home, which is so nice. And here it is. 
That is so kind of you. Oh my gosh. And this is from um, Lady Badger right there. So, Lady Badger, thank you so much. That is so generous. So the first person to send um, our Edie here $50 will receive one of these new tax items shipped free to their home. And it's uh, their Patricia Nash. One's a wallet and then one is a pouch. They're beautiful. I love the colors on those too. Right, Kathleen? On the bottom of shoes, though, it's easier to remove, like, the Sharpie marks and stuff. Um, you can just use, like, an alcohol, rubbing alcohol, um, nail polish remover, or what is it called? Angelus Leather Deglazer will get it off usually on the bottom of shoes. It depends on um, the color and, like, porosity of whatever it is on the bottom of the shoe. But, um, yeah, I'm going to leave this up right here. So anyone, um, wh whoever donates $50 first to our ED right here, this is their email right here. You can send her a PayPal, friends and family, um, and you'll get one of these free from our amazing Lady Badger, a.k.a. Sean. So, she's amazing. All right, our next item is going to be number 15. And we have, well, this is for this guy right here. Number 15 is going to be, uh, I think we're just going to go to... Oh, Linda! Thank you so much! Linda just sent ED50. Um, <laughs> save your bags from exploding pens. Get the pouch. <laughs> that is so kind of you, Lady Badger. Thank you so much. And also to you, Linda. Thank you. We're going to need uh, the applause for this one. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but I think we're just going to go to 20 today because I think I need to get going pretty soon. Um, our next item is going to be another Rebecca Minkoff right here. And it is this black. It kind of looks like a, it's like a caviar leather. You see, like, the texture of it. It has, like, a gunmetal colored hardware. We have the top handle. We have the... This is a crossbody strap. You can double it up like I did right here. And then wear it as a shoulder bag as well. There's a large back pocket right there. Turn lock at the front. Top opens up. you got a pocket here. There's another zipper pocket behind. And then we have a bunch of built-in card slots. And then another zipper pocket there. And this one is in like new condition beautiful structured it looks very much like a ysl like the college almost right and it has like this cool diamond quilting on the top flap hi odelia no you did <laughs> we have another live um oh you guys the wallet too is still available so if anyone the next person to send ed um 50 is gonna get this uh, brand new Patricia Nash wallet right there. Oh, right, Bex? It's such a good bag. Our black Rebecca Minkoff um, caviar leather satchel with gunmetal colored hardware. And this one is 85 And that one is $15. Or right, fifteen eighty five dollars for number fifteen, and then sixteen. Let's do oh, I 
I have these lawn bond shoes. Okay, these are a size 38 and a half. And these are just some Lawn Vaughn ba ba Ballet Flats in this nude color. They're really cute, size, thir uh, size 38 and a half. And they fit like a size 8 and a half as well. But they're kind of like, even if your foot's like a little smaller, like these fit my mom. She's an 8 and a half. But they also fit my aunt who is a size 7 and a half. I don't know how. They're like the sisterhood of the traveling shoe. But I think it's because of like the way they're made and like how like, it's kind of like malleable. So I have no clue how a size eight and a half and seven and a half were able to fit into these perfectly, but they are Lawn Vaughn ballet flats and they're in pretty good shape. They don't have like too much wear at all. And they're really, really comfy apparently. Um, boots, yes, I'm coming back tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific time with V and we're gonna have um, another sale tonight, so gonna have even more stuff v has a lot of really great items for you guys and yeah it's gonna be really fun so we'll come back tonight at 8 p.m pacific time and um, this is our nude colored leather um lawn bon ballet flats size 38.5 oh melissa it's okay melissa come back tonight at eight o'clock too though okay because we're having another sale tonight with v Okay, we had these at 60, but let's do 50 for these guys. And that's going to be size 16. Yeah, we're going to have a ton of stuff tonight. I'm really excited. And V has some really good items tonight, too. And I hope you guys, I hope you guys like them. So there's, you, got a, you got a two for, a two for today. I just gotta put these up there. All right, our next item uh, is gonna be number seventeen. And I got what do I have? Oh, I have another pouch. Um, we have this red coach right here, and this one is, it says coach right here up at the top. It's in like new condition. Um, this one is also vintage, but it's the, one of the made in China ones. It has red fabric lining inside, and it has silver, uh, silver zipper pull, but the zipper itself is in the same color as the bag. But this one is in l amazing like new condition. That's number 17. Vintage red. Yes, Diana, 11 p.m. your time. Uh, vintage red coach pouch with silver hardware. Oh, did it? Oh, just kidding, guys. This one sold. I'm sorry. Just kidding. I forgot to set it aside. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> Okay, um, let's do another one. Just kidding. Ooh, let's do... Oh, I guess I could just do these and tell you guys about these, but these are those size 11 Rockies. Um, they do have some wear to them. If you throw these in the washing machine, they'll probably look fantastic. Um, but these are size 11 and they are in like a gray and then they have like the blue and white stripes on the back and yeah size 11 rock these don't have like too much wear on the bottoms I think the most is on the sides right here but great shoes Mm, well, no, because then they'd fit me. <laughs> yeah. How much? 
Okay, we're going to do these for just $25 for our Rothy's. That's number 17. And then number 18. Oh, Maryland, yes, they're women's size 11. Because if they were men's size 11, they would fit me. <laughs> but yeah, this one is a Alexander Wang Prisma crossbody bag. has a crossbody strap right inside. This has a rose gold hardware. It has the little feet things on the bottom, which are really cool. They're like the metal, like all metal corners. Oh, O'Maryland's calling number 17. Congratulations, O'Maryland. These Rothy's are fantastic. I'm really excited. Yay. Let's put them over there. Um, there is some wear, though, like, on the hardware. There's some... Some of the color is, like, rubbing off a little bit, and it's, like, the silver is kind of, like, peeking through on the corners. Um, and that's for all the hardware on the bag. The leather, though, is in pretty good shape. The top flap is in a smooth leather, and then the rest of the body is in a black pebbled leather. And then when you open it up, you got... One interior zipper pocket, and then just a black fabric lining. The interior is in great shape. No, like, crazy uh, marks or anything. And, yeah. This is going to be item number 18. Our black um, Alexander Wang. Prisma crossbody bag with a rose. Wait, how much? This one's 95. And that's number 18. And then 19. We've got two more items. I have this Kate Spade. Um, this is a white, well, it's more like a cream, like a cream, um, pebbled leather crossbody bag. And it looks like a present. So it has like this black leather piping right here. And then the string that makes like the bow. And it has like a little silver hardware thing right there. It's super cute. We got the crossbody strap. It's adjustable. And then it does zip across the top right there. Um, that's what the bottom looks like. I totally forgot to show you guys. There. Interior looks like this. It's in great shape. This bag is in really good condition. We got a zipper pocket in the back and then two open pockets underneath. And it has a light gold hardware. Like a super light gold hardware. It's a great like holiday bag. It's like a present. So this is our wire cream pebbled leather. Kate Spade crossbody bag with light gold hardware and black leather trim. And we're going to do this one for, let's do it for 75. I think we had it for like 90 before. Uh, so that's going to be number 20, or number 19, or no, number 20. What was number 19? Did I skip it? Oh, okay, that was actually number 19. Sorry, guys. I skipped the numbers. Hi, Darlene. Oh, yeah, if you guys could give the video a thumbs up, that always does help the channel immensely. You guys are the best. Also, don't forget to enter that giveaway since we're almost to number 20. Here's that link again in case you haven't had a chance to enter. And I have, I'm giving away one more of those Sanrio 
uh, pill cases that are brand new. So that's number nine. Uh, that was number 19. Sorry, that was okay. This is going to be our last item, is number 20. And also, we still do have this last Patricia Nash that, um, Kendall, or not Kendall, Sean, <laughs> aka Lady Badger, is giving away for the next person to send ED $50. You are going to be getting uh, this right here. And this is our ED's email. Uh, if you could, any, any donation, any little bit will help. Uh, you can send her friends and family through PayPal, and that's her email right there. And that's for her operation that she really needs. Um, oh, the question is, what is your favorite side dish, oh, Maryland? I'm sorry, that one's so small. Let's increase that. Oh, okay. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. I have to move the car really quickly. You can. Hold on. Where's my keys? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Last question of the day. Sorry, my mom. She's getting her car washed, and the guy came, and my car is, like, in the driveway. I never park in the driveway either, but I parked there the other day. Uh, let's do... Oh, let's do this one. Okay, one more Kate Spade item number 20 for the day. This is a Kate Spade, like, a camera bag. It's in this black pebbled leather. I have the crossbody strap tucked inside. I actually really like the strap on this one. It's like a one of those one inch thick straps that uh, they started doing recently. And I love like a thicker strap because it's so much easier to carry. And this one is pretty much like new also. It has like some of the... Let me get that out of there. Still has some of like the hardware packaged up. Um, and it has the little care booklet right inside. It has a light pink lining, zipper pocket, and it has, this is the new pockets that they're doing too on the Kate Spades. It has like a little dip right there. I think it's really pretty. And this is our last item for the day. Our black Kate Spade camera bag. Gold hardware. And this one is how much, Fedorin? Okay, this one is 85. They're using more leather. Oh, are they? Oh, Odelia, the lemon tree is doing really well. Um, the lemons are pretty, I think they're almost all ripe right now too. So, um, no one, I don't, well, I haven't caught anyone stealing any of them yet, but one lady almost did, I think I told you guys a story the other day, that I was taking out the trash, and I was coming out the side, and a lady was, like, walking by, and she was, like, literally, like, holding on to the lemon, and she hadn't pulled it off yet, and then she was like, oh, like, is this a lemon? And I was like, no, it's like a, it's a yuzu lemon, it's, like, a little bit different, and then she's like, is it okay if I take one? And I was like, yeah, go for it, <laughs> but, yeah. She was really nice, though. Um, but that is our last item. That's number 20. And then our giveaway link is here one more time. Right there. And our question is, what is your favorite side dish? Huh? All right, and don't forget to, um, we have this from Lady Badger, we have one more of those Patricia Nash pieces, it's the wallet, the next person to send Edie $50 will receive that from Lady Badger, and thank you so much, Sean, for your generosity, and that's uh, Edie's email, right there. Right, Odelia, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's always better. If you ask, like, I'm not going to say no to you. Like, yeah, go ahead. But it's just, like, weird when people just, like, go there and start taking the fruit off the tree. Don't even ask. And then take, like, a bunch in the middle of the night. It's probably been too cold at nighttime. Oh, that's awesome, Hipatia. 
You got three limes now? Nice. I love citrus trees. They're like literally the best. We have... Well, that one f produces so many. I don't know. Our, there's always like some sort of disease going around with the citrus plants here in Southern California. So it's like... Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anyway, let's announce our winner. And then I got to get going. Oh, Valley Lemons. Yeah, they're um, Yuzu Lemons is the, is the one that we have, like the tree, the big one. We have like regular lime and uh, lemon trees too, but they don't produce as many fruits as that one. Like that one's crazy. And it has fruit all year round. I don't know how that happens, but it's always it always has fruit. Okay, let me um, pick our winner now, though. And then we're going to end the live, and then we're going to be back tonight at 8 o'clock. And uh, we'll be live with V, and we're going to have the second half of our uh, pre-Black Friday sale. And where did my thing go for my comment picker? Uh-oh, I think I lost it. I think I accidentally closed it. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. That's not good. Let's just open up a new one. How about... Oh, Meyer lemons? Meyer lemons are so good. I wish we had a Meyer lemon tree. Actually, I don't know what lemon trees we do have. Um, it's just that one that we have over there. I know, like, the specific name. Um, common pepper. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, we'll pick the winner. dun 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 Oh my gosh, it picked a spam comment. Okay, just, when, yeah, we're not going to do that one. Uh, okay, let's do this one more time. Yeah, don't forget to join again tonight, you guys, okay? And... Dun, 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 dun. Congratulations to Jay Sweet. My favorite side dish is corn and mashed potatoes. Ooh, same. I love those. Congratulations, Jay Sweet. We're going to send you uh, this super cute. Oh, where you go? Little pillowcase right there. And uh, thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, so I just got to, I got to ski that out right now because I got to go um, with mom. Yes, Tara. So um, we'll be back again tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific time. I'm doing a live sale with V. You guys have met her before. She's always in here. And it's going to be super duper fun. She has a ton of great items for you guys as well. And yes, so goodbye, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys all in a little bit. All right. Good I keep wanting to say goodnight. And I'm like, have a great rest of the day. Bye.